out here in the jungle lab of Madagascar and one of the things we thought we would try inspired by all the leaves that you find out here in the jungle was to see how well we could get them to work as a membrane for a speaker. So using the material of the leaf itself, collected a whole bunch of different leaves. Some of them are so nice and big. Uh, and by kind of playing with it, it feels like it would make the perfect material to move air. Um, so the way a speaker works is you have a membrane that's going to vibrate very quickly. Um, the, the quicker it vibrates, the higher the frequency uh, you will hear. Um, and the way it, it's actuated by electricity is that you use a coil of uh, wire or a conductor. And uh, if you remember from physics, when you have a coil and you move a magnet in and out of that coil, you generate a current in the coil. So the opposite is also true. If you run a current through the coil, it generates a magnetic field. So you're basically creating an electromagnet and basically electromagnet is connected to the membrane. So then when your audio signal goes through with your song, it's kind of becoming a magnet, relaxing, becoming a magnet, relaxing. And that's not going to do anything unless you have a big or some kind of permanent magnet close by. So now there's two competing magnetic fields and you, you get the movement of the membrane. Um, so the challenge was how to integrate um, some kind of electromagnet. So a coil, the coil basically amplifies the magnetic field into the leaf. So we tried a bunch of different techniques, some of them um, really kind of just taken off some of the fabric speakers have done in the past by embroidering like a spiral. So um, there's a small one. Oh, this one yeah. So basically between two leaves just kind of sandwiched using some double sticky tape. It would be nice to find some natural kind of gum or sap to use as a sticky. But uh, this is just some copper thread that's not even insulated. And it's wrapped around in a coil with just a magnet stuck onto it. And then sandwiched between two leaves. Um, and then you have the two leaves of your speaker. So if we hook this up, you can hear it very well. You just have to hold it close to your ear. Then some other things we tried. This one's actually quite nice. Wrapping up a leaf. If you wrap up a leaf, it actually kind of gives it even more rigidity, which is good. So this leaf is wrapped up and then held in place with a vine. And but first on that leaf, tape down a line of copper. So now when I wrap it up, I'm creating a coil. And it's not touching itself because the back of the leaf is insulated. And then you have the two leads coming out. So this also works well as a speaker. Um, other things, this is something um, Andy tried. So sewing into the leaf material itself, if you're stitching back and forth, it tears very easily. The thread kind of cuts right through the material. The strong parts of the leaf are where the veins are. So this big central kind of vein or, or rib of the leaf. It's great for stitching around because the thread will tear only until that point. So here the coil is stitched along the vein and then there's a magnet with a hole in it. So it's uh, got the competing magnetic fields wanting to move kind of this way but that's still going to move the membrane. So the leads come off either end. Speaker. Um, you know, another variation of wrapping it as a coil was to first wrap up the leaf and then kind of stitch a spiral around it. Also worked. Some of the ones that worked the loudest were not just um, creating the coil, but also thinking of not just having the uh, leaf be a membrane, but also a resonant body. So creating this cone shape of, with the leaf. You're just kind of stitching along this one, so wrapping the leaf up and stitching it together. Um, in this case, we wrapped some enameled wire, so insulated wire, and we can wrap it a lot of times around in the same place. And then hold some magnets in here, and the audio, the vibrations will be the loudest if you listen to them from this end. And these ones, these two that we made, we've got quite a lot of coils on it. If you hold in a big magnet, it's pretty loud. If it, if it were not so loud in the jungle, you would be able to hear it from further away.
the last example of instead of using the wire, just wrapping the copper tape around it. And what I like about the copper is that it looks so nice in combination with this dark green of the, of the leaf. It's just color combination. Material also, this metal with this organic leaf. It's kind of waxy looking.